हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक आई होप यूर ऑल हैप्पी हेल्दी वेल्दी एंड वेरी फाइन नाउ वी हैव डन द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ एंगल्स लाइक जीरो डिग्री थर्टी डिग्री फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री सिक्सटी डिग्री नाइन्टी डिग्री यू नेम इट वी हैव डन ऑल द कंप्लीट कंस्ट्रक्शन the uh, angles like something in half degrees we have done that also okay so we have done uh, we have completed that after that we uh, we constructed the triangles triangles like if two uh, sides difference or two sides summation or addition is given to us then we were uh, constructing the triangle in this to this session we are going to practice how one can construct a triangle if the perimeter of the triangle is given or the three sides of the triangle is given to us guys okay okay let's start now you are given the base angles say b and c and bc plus ca plus ab you are given so basically what you are given with you are having this triangle abc okay in this triangle abc you have given with the bc this side bc plus the side ca and this side ab that means student you are given with this a this b and this c that means a plus b plus c is given to you which is equals to perimeter of triangle this is given to you and also the base angle if the base is b c then you are given with the angles b and angle c these two angles you are given with after that how can you make this triangle that will measure exactly angle b is equals to angle b angle c equals to angle c and a b c is equals to the fixed length which is given to you in the question okay let's start with that so the step of construction the first step draw a line segment say xy equals to bc plus ca plus ab let's suppose it's given to us guys equals to 10 cm right so in that case we are going to have this xy we are going to uh, have a line xy right here okay and which is equals to bc plus ca plus ab right this xy is equals to ab plus bc plus ca or the perimeter right okay now the next is make angles lxy equals to b and mxy myx equal to c so you are having a uh, angles b and c here that means this is going to be your baseline okay so you are going to have lxy equals to b so x is here y is here so let us suppose we are having this ray here and the ray is the ray is what something l so this is equals to angle b this is at equals to angle b now what you have to do make this uh, this equals to uh, m y x equals to the another angle which is given to you the base angle angle c so here we are going to have another line here that is going to be our m and this angle will be equals to c understood now in the next section we are going to bisect now what we have to do bisect angle lxy now what is angle lxy this is the angle x lxy how will you bisect angle lxy okay bisecting an angle will be having you'll be cut an arc here and from these two from these two you are going to have a cut here and a cut 
here. So uh, this way you can bisect LXY and similarly you are going to bisect it also. So you will be having a bisect uh, bisection here and here also you will be going to bisect it like that. Okay, here you have divided angle B into equal halves and also angle C into two equal halves. Okay. Now, draw perpendicular bisectors of PQ and uh, PQ of AX and RS of AY. Now, where is AX? We are having here AX. This is the point A of yours. Okay. So, you have to draw the perpendicular bisector of AX. What is A? The meeting point of these two bisectors. These two bisectors, let's suppose these two bi uh, bisectors are going to meet on this particular point and this point will be going to mark as A, right? Okay. So, from here AX you are having and A uh, Y you are having. You are going to bisect it. So, that will be something like that you are going to bisect it. Now, do not ask me how to bisect it because we have ta uh, talked about, we have learned lesson for the bisection, right? So, these will be the bisectors. So, bisector of this AX and this AY, we got it, okay? And you will be go uh, going to name as PQ of AX and uh, RS of AY. So, that will be PQ and RS. Understood? Now, in the next section, we are going to let PQ intersect XY. PQ intersect XY. Okay. So, XY is going to intersect here at this point. PQ is intersecting it here and uh, this will be our B. This point where they are intersecting each other, this point will be our point B. Okay. Similarly, it is here RS is intersecting this XY at this point. At this point and this point will be known as the point C. So, that will be our point C. Okay. Now, join AB to AC. A, B. So, this was A. This was our point A. Okay. Intersection of these two and this will be the C. Okay. So, the, here you will be getting the required triangle ABC. This ABC will be your required triangle. Let us revise this whole concept. What you have done, you are given the parameter of a triangle, then you draw this parameter AB plus BC plus CA equals to whatever centimeter or meters or whatever you have given with. So, you are, go you are going to draw in your with the help of your scale. So, first step was this. First step that you draw XY equals to the parameter. After that, you constructed these two angles equals to angle B and angle C. Okay. Then you have had these two lines. After this, you divide, you uh, bisect these two angles. Bisector of this B angle was here and the bisector of this angle C was here. The point of intersection of these two angles will be our point A. The first point of our required triangle we got here. With these two lines, this A and Y and A and X, we draw the perpendicular bisectors of it and we got the perpendicular bisectors as PQ and R. Where the perpendicular bisectors are cutting x, y, we named it b and c respectively. b from this side and c from this side. After that, what we did? We uh, made a to b and a to c. 
after meeting a to b and b to a to c we are having this uh, triangle abc which is our required triangle okay now the justification of the construction here it's saying that b lies on the perpendicular bisector of pq of ax okay so b is lying where is the b this point b it's talking about so b is lying this point b is lying on the perpendicular bisector of pq now pq's perpendicular bisector pq perpendicular bisector of ax okay this is lying on that therefore xb equals to ab what is xb here this xb this xb is equals to ab it's not looking like that in this but when we'll construct with your uh, complete geometry box tools the protector divide and scale will be getting this then this xb will be equals to this ab similarly here this cy will be equals to this ac and this bc is part of this line here by that you will be getting xb this xb equals to ab and similarly you will be getting the cy equals to ac and again you are equal, you are having this bc is equal to this bc now have this xy xy is equals to xq sorry not xq okay so this xy is equals to xb plus bc plus cy okay here we can replace that xy is equals to what uh, here you can have this uh, um, xb xb is equals to what ab here ab okay then cy equals to ac and bc is equals to bc so you are getting this parameter okay and this parameter is equals to this which is equals to xy that means ab plus bc is plus uh, ac is equals to xy which were given to you which were our requirement that it should be like that only that perimeter of it will be equals to x1 it is happening like that only okay so this is the method that's how you'll be getting your construction done so this is the uh, same thing here okay the justification for the uh, for the uh, angles is also given that we have uh, we have constructed angle bax equals to a uh, axb how these two angles were equal because in triangle axb you can see in this in your notebook because i have uh, you know uh, rubbed that completely ab is equals to xb you can see ab if ab is equals to xc xb that means that means that will be a isosceles uh, isosceles triangle that means the uh, respective angles of this this will also be equal that means bx equals to xy and similarly you can say that angle abc is equals to a b a x b a x plus a x y equals to 2 a x uh, a x b is equals to l x y this uh, l x y we have constructed in the first phase so similar by that we can say that this angle alex will be same as the required construction okay now after that we are having a solution here example here construct a triangle abc in which angle b equals to this angle c equals to this and abc is equals to 11 centimeter now constructed it with me what we are going to do we are having this xy equals to what 11 centimeters let's suppose okay you are going to draw it by your scale okay so take this xy equals to 11 centimeter or uh, let's let's have a little less length of it it's here x and it's here y so this complete length let's suppose it is 11 centimeters and now we have given with the with the two angles angle b and angle c angle b equals to 60 degree now you know how to make angle 60 degree you are going to take an arc and without uh, um, having it uh, 
even a little bit uh, deflected you are going to make an angle of 60 degree like this so you'll be having an angle of 60 degree here now angle c equals to 45 degree so you are going to have a um, something like there okay so you are going to have angle first equals to 90 degree which is going to be something like that okay and after getting in angle 90 degree you are going to just bisect it and we'll be getting and we'll be getting the angle equals to 45 degree okay okay so here you'll be getting angle 45 degree right you are using scale and uh, protractor and compass here so i need to not to be worry about this diagram okay you are going to be this is going to be very neat in your um, what you say in your notebook and in the previous session i when i have told you how to construct the uh, angles and how to make the triangle okay when the difference and the addition of uh, two sides were given then that time we had completed this work construction work and you are going to write the steps of it also with that okay so in that case we are going to what the next step was to bisect these angles so i'm changing the color for the step so bisecting this angle will be something like here so it's going to be this and bisecting this angle will be going to something like here so it's going to be this now this point I'll get as A, point A, this point. Now what I'm going to do, uh, for the further step, I'm going to draw the perpendicular bisector of it, okay? So here I'm going to draw the perpendicular bisector of it, okay? And after getting the, uh, sorry, this is not the perpendicular bisector, I guess, so right so here it will be something like that the perpendicular bisector and similarly i'll be getting a perpendicular bisector here and these perpendicular bisector will uh, will cut this base x y on some point and these point will be point b and here the point c now the next step is what you're going to you're going to meet these points a to b and a to c so this this triangle abc is your required triangle okay this is how it is done understood okay done right so uh, this is about this chapter here in this chapter what we have studied is first we uh, we studied to uh, drop different types of uh, what you say triangles okay so here's a brief summary of it also with the same that in this chapter what we call you uh, we have done with the following construction with the ruling a ruler and compass bisect a given angle we had bisected the angles after that draw the perpendicular bisector of the line segment okay we have done that to construct an angle of 60 degree 40 uh, 45 degree 90 degree and so on okay construct a tri triangle its base uh base angle and the sum of other two sides is given okay then we have constructed a triangle given base and sub base angle and the difference of two other sides so sum of uh, two different sides and the difference of two different sides we have deal the, we have done deal. in the in this particular lecture we have to uh, we had uh, constructed a triangle given its perimeter and two base angles this we had uh, done okay so this was the complete uh, uh, brief of this chapter plus the construction of a triangle when the perimeter of the triangle is given to you guys okay so this is how it's done now this chapter is completed do uh, do practice more and more and more because in the construction it's very easy to score marks because you're having these on the uh, basic uh, three types of uh, construction of a triangle and uh, you, you know how to bisect the angle so no you can you can just uh, easily find out how to draw the angles okay uh, so this is the complete this is the complete chapter now just practice practice and practice questions and you are going to very very quick in the construction and you'll be having you no know, uh, complete marks if you just get a little little a uh, very little attention to this chapter okay so this is about today and uh, we'll meet in uh, next 
lecture with a new chapter. Take good care of yourself, students. Take care. Bye-bye.